Hey, what's going on, everyone? Rick Lee here. Uh, we are casting what is the third to last week two race. This one's going to be between the Weirdo Maxim and Cyber One. Uh, Weirdo Maxim is online. He is just getting his stream uh, up and ready here. So it's just going to be a moment before he gets started. Uh, so we do have two more matches today, of course. Uh, we are going to have... Uh, looks like Mantis and Rack the Kitty will be playing in, at about uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. And then uh, the final match of the week will be between uh, G. Fiddy and Oblivion. That one should be a barn burner. That one should be happening at 5 p.m. Eastern, and I believe that's 2 p.m. Pacific as well. So uh, definitely check those out. Uh, it's been an exciting week of races. You know, we're one-third of the way through the season after this week should be lots of fun to see who gets uh, paired up with whom. So we're just waiting on both the racers to get settled in um, and ready. Now, as far as the standings, um, these, these two have had a pretty tough time of it. Uh, the Weirdo Maxim, uh, this week he's gone up against My Name is Munka and had a fairly long uh, match. I think it went on for like an hour and a half before they decided to uh, call it a draw. And so he's, he's got a point and a half. And uh, Cyber's game this week was up against uh, Medi Knight, who uh, took that series two to one. Now, I do show Maxim good to go. Looks like we're just waiting on Cyber one. Uh, they're about to input the stream, so I imagine we're going to get started any moment here. And as we do that, going to do something a little different this time around. Uh, I got this thing here. And we're going to do a little poll, and we're going to see what you guys think is going to happen with this match, who's going to win, what the score is going to be. Um, I'll go ahead and start that now. So, yeah, just go ahead and vote, and we'll see what happens. I'm playing with playing around with something called Ankbot, and it's got polls in it, and it's, it looks like it'd be kind of fun. So here we go. First match. Seeds are getting entered. We should be starting any moment now. Timer is ready, folks. We are ready to go. Oh, did Cyber go offline? Nope, just disappeared. But we're starting, and... Immediately finding a shot. Maxim is passing it up, but does find a fireball spell for his trouble. Cyber has yet to find it. Cyber's going to go in and pick up the practically free torch, and he will not find the fireball spell, so Maxim with a clear early advantage. Very nice. Here comes the Minotaur for Cyber. Handles him with ease. And Cyber is on to his 1-2. Maxim just finishing his up. Possible food shop on 1-2. But Cyber's got no way in it. Let's see if Maxim takes it. Maxim will not try to open it. But he goes left. Left's not usually a way you want to go in zone 1. So uh, looks like he's going to try. Well, he could open that box with a fireball. Chooses not to. I'm not sure I agree with that. You can get some real nice items on his own one. Maxim farming pretty hard here, and Cyrus going to go down to the Dire Bat on 1-2. Well, he'll start over. Let's see if he finds uh, the Fireball this time around. And, and I really think Cyber needs to take his cheese here. I know it's half a heart of wastefulness, but ugh, that's... Uh, he Walking around early with one and a half hearts is just one yellow skeleton from death. So it's got to be very careful here if he's not going to take that uh, food. So Maxim doesn't have much of a lead. Oh, that base whip, though. That thing is, yeah. Get that out of here. Maxim wisely staying on the dagger. And making his way through the zone. And then Cyber, you know, for, for dying is actually... I'm going to say surpassed Maxim here. But, I mean, he's been here once before and got dunked by the Dire Bat. If he doesn't eat his cheese here, he's only got himself to blame. Um, Maxim 
following the dire bat around and cyber is on his one three first and we have an angry dragon here that is a very angry dragon wanting to take out these racers but they'll both handle the dragon cyber does not have enough gold to go for the lucky charm maxim chooses not to go for the lucky charm so we are going to continue to see a no luck run here Come on, guys. Luck is a good meme. <laughs> Cyber onto his zone one boss, which is Conga. Maxim picking up some obsidian armor, so he'll always have at least half a heart of protection. Cyber bombing out Conga. And throwing. Let's see if he goes for a... Oh, Maxim found phasing phasing in the 1-3 shop with no luck. That could be a big difference maker. Cyber1 getting a whip for his perfect uh, flawless Kanga, but we'll see if Maxim's going to be able to catch up now that he has phasing. He's farming an awful lot, which makes me think that um, you know, he's not very confident in his play, and th that phasing may not help. Oh, Cyber going down to an armadillo, just not very not looking very comfortable with that whip and having to start the seed over. Maxim, meanwhile, uh, he uh, he picked up, I didn't even notice this, he picked up a base crossbow and he takes out Kanga with it. For some reason, goes around the tempo up trap. That is not really necessary once you've won. Um, he will not opt for the base whip and Cyber now getting t monkeyed. Oof, this is a rough go of it to start for Cyber. But Cyber has proved to be the faster racer so far. It's just that Maxim is definitely the more consistent one at the moment. All right, so Maxim on 2-1, about three levels ahead here, almost a full zone. Just being very careful, opening up that potion room. So Maxim with a bit more protection here. I'd, ha I'd have to give this early advantage to Maxim by quite a margin here. Um, I, I personally am not very comfortable with the weapon that he's using, but well, that's just simply because I always forget to reload it. Looks like he made that mistake there, forgot to reload it and jumped into a skeleton. So he's down a heart, but not really much of a problem as long as he keeps in mind that he's got to reload that thing in order to use it. I'm only doing one damage. So uh, it's nice to take out the rolling armadillos for sure. Cyber now finding the phasing. Opting not to take it. Oh, I don't think he's taking it. I think he wants that, um, the crossbow, but he chooses not to. He's just going on to his boss at the trap door. Maxim now on his one, two. Pretty scary without a torch. I think that's a, should be his next goal is to get a torch here. But making his way through while he doesn't have it so far, only taking that one point of damage. Cyber hitting a flawless on his King Konga. And, and again, he's wandering around with a heart and a half health and sitting on some cheese. And I really think you need to take that cheese as soon as you pick it up. Cyber again going for the titanium whip. Oh, and this is should be a dead shopkeeper here. He's got the bombs for it. Doesn't even. And he's gonna go ahead and fireball him. Oh, he does. Does he have enough? Oh, he took a hit from the shopkeeper that uses his potion. That's too bad. He's, but he's gonna pick up a titanium broadsword. Does not pick up the blood shovel. That's definitely a mistake. Now that he has no bombs. Um, but ooh, that was a scary moment for Maxim. But. Hopefully from here on out when he gets hit, he's only going to be taking most of the time half a point of damage. So uh, Maxim with looking a, like a pretty good build despite the mistake on the shopkeeper. I, I still don't understand why he didn't take the blood shovel. Though. Oh, blood shovel phasing. Yeah, okay. It's ignore me. I, see, the, see, I've done that. I've tried to use a blood shovel with phasing. It doesn't work. Well, it would work now because he picks up courage. So he still has a chance. Well, it depends on what he does here. He has a chance to go back to the shop if he wants to get it. No, he's back on. He can't decide. He's taking a hit here. He's he's on the run. He's, 
not thinking about anything like that right now. And he will go into the stairs, so he remains on phasing. Yeah, I don't see a reason why not to take it over the base shovel. It's even if you have phasing, it's not going to hurt you. Cyber back on 1 3. I did not see where he died. I know he died, I just don't know where. Looks like he's going to test the luck waters here. So we'll see what he gets other than that spear. Picks up the luck charm and moves on to his King Kanga. Or is he? Oh, he messed that up. He's going to bomb it. It's got, a, it's got some armor in it, so it's not too bad. I still think Cyber really needs to take that cheese. He's done it every time. He's been running around on one and a half hearts and getting killed. Maxim going pretty slowly for through his 2-3 here. You, you got to keep in mind, he's, um, this, he's not died yet, but he's eight minutes into zone... Uh, Zone 2. He's not even done with Zone 2 yet. I mean, this could very easily turn into a 10-minute Zone 2, which is pretty unheard of for racing here. Use Barrel to get the mole to pop up. Cyber 1 ending up finding an Obsidian Crossbow with luck. That's actually really good, uh, but he's got to remember to use it. And if he doesn't, that happens. Got to remember to uh, reload it, rather. It looks like he's pretty uncomfortable with it, too, because he doesn't know that you can kill armadillos when they're rolling. Um, takes out the dire bat, and he's on to his 2-2. And I think if I'm cyber, I just slow down and start you know, thinking about what I need to do to make progress in the race ra rather than try to go fast. Maxim's not going very fast. He's nine minutes onto his second zone boss, and that's Coral Riff. Cyber could just play this safely, get get a good build going, don't take any chances, and he should be fine. But so far, you know, Maxim is slow but steady. He's definitely playing the tortoise in this race. Cyber getting dunked by the mole. He's down to one heart. Uh, he's already used his cheese, too, so he doesn't have that backup. Axa, meanwhile, looking at Coral Rift, staring him down. Hits him once with the sword. And finishes him off. That was not a flawless. So he will not get a chest here. But he is on to zone three. He's got his heavy plate. He's got full health. Uh, doesn't have his potion, but um, not looking too bad. He's got the one bomb he needs. Takes a YOLO teleport there. <laughs> And doesn't end up too far from where he was. Cyber finding a nice heal spell in that 2-3 shop, along with a squega suit. Uh, so he's not going to be doing too bad at all. And he might, uh, he could afford to go a little faster here. Uh, except he's not really sure how to deal with this nightmare at the moment and could get killed by him here. He's down to half a heart. That was not good at all. He just couldn't figure out what to do with that nightmare and that's cost him but fortunately a crossbow is a really good weapon on coral rift because it reaches him before he moves uh but he's got to deal with the band now and he could be in trouble if he's not careful here and he's got to start killing some instruments all right there he goes cyber taking out his coral rift a little scary but on half a heart he's going to be going into zone three how is that not a flawless i thought that was a flawless for sure Uh, Maxim's going on to 3-2 here after farming the heck out of that last one. Takes care of the ghost shopkeepers. So won't have to worry about getting dunked by him anymore. And I do I, I do understand that Maxim's stream, is, is his side looks pretty bad. Um, that's his internet. That's not anything on my end. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Well, I apologize for the quality on the left half of the screen here. Cyber onto his 3-2, taking the trap door and running into... <laughs> uh, he, just forgetting to reload the crossbow. It's, it's, it's really hurting him here. And Maxim's been just farming the heck out of his 3-2 here. He's almost got a score run going on. He finally makes it out. He's, yeah, he farmed it and didn't check the shop. I 
don't know what the point of that is. Yeah, he's going to get clapping here, but he should be all right. As long as he gets out of there, starts working on killing things. He's down to a heart and a half. He does, he does have that same heal spell that Cyber does. But Cyber's surpassed, or, well, almost surpassed him. If he takes a trap door, he will have. Take care of the Minotaur. So Cyber 1 should, or I'm sorry, Maxim should be heading on to his Zone 3 boss in a second as soon as he can figure out a way out. Now, here's the scary part is Weirdo Maxim does not have a uh, torch yet. And he's going to be going on to Zone 4 with phasing, without a torch. And I can tell you from personal experience, racing that way is scary as hell. It's possible. I, I, I made it through Zone 4, but it was so hard. It's so easy to just get one shot by things. So you gotta be really careful. Uh, he's, it looks like he loses his uh, flawless on death metal. It gets dunked by a beetle even. Uh, but other than that, this looks like he's got it. Cyber one with that crossbow doesn't have to worry about triggering bats, and he can kill pretty much anything that spawns one. Oh, there goes his flawless. So neither racer getting flawless here, and Weirdo Maxim now realizing that. Phasing without a torch in zone 4 is a bad meme. <laughs> He's just going so slow because you never know when that's going to happen. You say hi to a spider and that spider could just go dunk. Dunks for days. The good thing about Maxim's build here is he does have a fireball and it is ready to use. So he could take out a boss or maybe a sarcophagus if he comes up on one. Uh, he gets confused monkeyed. And he's now down to one heart. Cyber really got to play cautiously. I mean, both of these racers really super low here. They do have some armor, so they probably can each take one hit, but definitely not on goo. Neither, neither of them having uh, any boots to go with this. It's kind of funny because Weirdo Maxim's got phasing, no torch. Cyber's got a torch, no phasing. Maxim trying to finish up his 4-1. He's trying to go the other way around, it looks like. Just making sure oh, this is a nightmare, literally. He's going to have to do something to lure the nightmare to where he's at. Meanwhile, Cyber surpassed him. He's on 4-2. Um, oh, that is a great find for Cyber. That's going to put him back to full health if he chooses to use it. Um, it looks like he's holding on to it for now. With the armor, that might be okay. Oh, he gets wall pig. Now he's got to use it. He's got to use it. He just tried to blood heal. He has to use that chicken, and he's not touching it, and that could be costly, and down he goes. Cyber just not using his food, and oh, man, that's it for him. Meanwhile, the weirdo, weirdo Maxim is over onto his 4-2 at 15 minutes. He has yet to die. We're 15 minutes in, and he has yet to die. So he is playing a very cautious race here. And so far, it's it's been working. Uh, he's He is down to one heart. He's got a very scary build with phasing and no torch. But he's made it over to the boss room, and let's see what he's got. He's got blue dragon and a lot of pain. That does not look like a fun room. It looks like he blood fireballed there, maybe? Got the dragon down to three. Oh, he bombs him out. And that bomb does half a point of damage to himself. Um, and this is very scary here. He's got to take out that sarcophagus. Uh, I would, if, if he had more bombs, I'd also bomb whatever that sh secret chop is. He's going to do it anyway. He bombs it out. Let's see what it is. He's waiting for the bats to get out of the way. It is a conjure shop. Um, so he could possibly, he needs to conjure a torch. But he needs to get a torch. Oh my god, he does not conjure a torch. He has 1,800 gold. He is not conjuring a torch. And just very cautiously in that corner, he's even taking time to think about his next move. Now he's going to clear the floor. He's got a fireball. If he if he chooses to use it, he'll clear out most of the stuff there. He's just got that skeleton left. He looks to be pretty spooked by what's on the floor, though. And he, oh, he ignores the conjure shop, and he's on his 4-3. But he's got half a heart. 
Uh, he's got two kills before he can farm a, uh, another hard up. And he's just got to be careful not to run into a spider or do anything crazy like that. Otherwise, we're going to have a race reset. 17 minutes on for Maxim now. Oh, there's the spider I was talking about. He humps the spider for a turn and turns the other way. And if I'm Maxim, I'm just scared out of my mind right now. This is actually... There's another spider. So that's two spiders he's found now. He's got to be really careful. I'm, he's going to find a blood whip there. Uh, do, I don't think that I would use that right now. That just seems a little silly. Oh, Cyber in trouble again. He's got the dire bat right there. He manages to get out alive with half a heart. And he's got, again, I mean, it's, he's got the cheese. He's not using it. There he goes. Finally uses it. Maxim slowly making his way. He sees a sar sarcophagus. Uh, but where do you pop out in this boss room? Especially with a spider up in the corner. He pops out, finds the mummy, and dies to the night. So, oh, what a painful finish to Maxim's run. 18 minutes. And I got to say, um, he really needed to get that torch in that... In that conjurer shop that's really what destroyed that run for him so he's back starting over again so meanwhile cyber one has found himself an obsidian build with an obsidian whip uh, and I think if you're weirdo maxim here you farm from the map definitely farm from the map so that's 63 gold that's not a lot he seems to be no stranger to farming. He's just a stranger to actually using what he's farming. So hopefully he doesn't make that error again where he's just farming nonstop and not doing anything with the gold. And uh, yeah, he just left. So a little bit of a struggle for Maxim here. Cyber 1, he's on to 2-3 here. Seems to be doing okay with the whip so far. Hopefully uh, recovering from some early... Oh, misplays. That, that's a misplay, though. That brings him down to one health. And he's got a... I'd just take the trap door at this point. But Cyber holds fast and handles it. away from the tar monster. Oh, and an obsidian spear. That is a fine pickup for Cyber 1. Hopefully that'll help him get out of this zone alive. And he's onto his Coral Rift. And he can just throw bomb. Easy throw bomb strat here for Cyber. There it is. And there goes Cyber. He's on to zone 3. And uh, yeah, the the sorry, I wasn't keeping track of chat. Uh, but basically, the uh, PS4 version of the game, the seeds are a little weird. Sometimes the seeds are off by one, sometimes they're not. And apparently, there's like some minuscule differences between the seeds too. Um, and on top of that, for the Vita, the Vita has really bad lag. So there's a couple reasons not to do it. Cyber so gonna let his. Uh, he does have a luck charm. He's down to half a heart. Loses his glass torch. Needs to find some food. He does, but can he get to it? We've seen this before on other races where racers will find the food that they need, but they can't quite get to it, and they die before they get to it. And with that clap, a looming large. Uh, Cyber's got to be really careful. Finally takes him out. Oh no! Oh, the bat spares his life. Of course, he's got the charm, so... Oh, that slide, though, was pretty terrible. Oh, Maxim getting dunked by King Kong. He's down to half a heart. But Cyber's up to a heart and a half here after that near issue. The Vita has bad lag. Basically, what happens is it's the Vita... Uh, 
it, it, it just plays slowly. There's, there's times you can do things like skip beats and whatnot. Um, I believe, I don't know if it's Mudjo or Jack that actually has it for the Vita. They could probably tell you more. Maxim with the compass find there. He'll at least know where the exits are. Uh, notice he didn't take phasing this time. He's, he learned his lesson from the first time. No torches equals very bad zone for uh, Cyber taking a little bit of hot coals damage there. He's down to one heart. Uh, racers seem to be running with pretty low health here. And oh, the clapper. Cyber is really in trouble now, down to half a heart. But he does find a glass shop, and this could turn around his fortune if he picks up, uh, I mean, there's no reason not to pick up that chest right now. He wants to go for the bow. I don't think you go for the bow here. Uh, you're going to die in one hit anyway. Minus, minus the uh, chest, so there's really no point in taking a riskier weapon, especially for zone 4. So Cyber at half a heart. Maxim has a full, has only one heart, but he does have that potion that he found earlier. And Cyber over to 3-3 three, three now. Ooh, Maxim getting dunked by the golem, but does not take his potion yet. He's still still alive, and that was probably another case of forgetting to reload. Uh, Ring of Might gives them make, uh, makes that base crossbow do two damage over on his side. Well, if Cyber happens to lose his uh, glass chest here, he could replace it. I, I, I almost think he got a glass up here. I, 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 I really think Cyber's best bet right now is to tap that uh, shrine. There's no reason not to. I mean, he has a glass chest, so that, that would still be one extra hit. He would be allowed, and the next hit kills him because he's at half a heart. doesn't matter if he has a glass jaw at this point. So, I don't know. I, maybe he's thinking that he'll heal up because he remembers there being a heal spell in one of the shops. Hasn't found it yet, but I think it was in Zone 2 that was the problem. And he clearly doesn't have it. Cyber's on his Death Metal 3, though. Everyone's favorites, Death Metal, of course. By the way, if you get a chance, check out on Shroud 3D's channel the replay between Spooty Biscuit and G Fitty. Game number two. G Fitty pulls out. He on 3-3 he gets dunked by something and loses his glass weapon. And goes into 3-3 death metal with only three bombs, no weapon and flawless is it. It is a work of beauty. Cyber in trouble, getting cornered by the Warlock. It's dunked, loses glass armor, but handles it. Now he could get that. Uh, that would be a very nice find, especially with that wall pig right there. That is a very easy urn. Get that urn, get the food out of it. Oh man, you gotta get that urn. You have to get that urn if you're Cyber here. Push that urn up and trigger the wall pig. He is ignoring the urn. Oh man. This is, this is a misplay, a huge misplay. I mean, you have a free, literally a free urn. You're going to get back to full health. You're going to get a crystal shovel. It's, oh, oh, man. I, I am just amazed at this. Now, if he's not going to pick that up, at least pick up the ring of regeneration here. Get some health back. He sees some bombs, so he's going to go pick those up. Or is he? He's going to try to... Let's see what he does. He picks up the leather armor, which is... Eh, I mean, it's not going to help you on half a heart, but if he finds more health at some point, then yes. Uh, and now Cyber is going over. Looks like he may have... I, I'm not quite sure what he's doing here. He's luring the bomber over to it. And you got the wall pig right there. That's only going to knock it down one heart. But, I mean, use the wall pig. 
Weirdo Maxim clears out his zone 2 boss. Um, Cyber is just... Uh, 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 Cyber is definitely... There he goes. He figured it out. The Wall Pig. He's got a shield spell. He's got the crystal shovel. He's got the, sh the hand to bring him back to full health. And this game is now Cyber's to lose. Uh, he definitely pulled that out. Oh, man. Very scary. Uh, now, that's only a plus three shovel, so I would be even transmogrifying for a blood shovel here. Um, Squega suit. Very nice pickup there. Gives himself an infernal torch. Jumps into a spider, but who cares? He's got a Squega suit. And he's onto his 4-2. So Cyber with a very nice pickup. And as we approach the half hour mark of game number one, this could be... We could be close to seeing a, a loot here awarded. We'll see how Cyber closes this out. Again, Cyber did uh, take one off of Medi Knight uh, earlier this week. So we know he can do it. Arboretic points out that he has truly earned himself the win. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Arboretic. Thank you so much. That's for you. Okay, so uh, using the shield spell wisely uh, with the... And he's got to do something. He's got to get out of it. He just gets out of there. Goes to 4-3. Down to 2.5 hearts, but not too bad off. Oh, he gets stuck on goo. Uh, you don't want to get stuck on goo. Oh, well, I guess it's okay because he's got the boots, but still he got dunked for ha another half a heart. Maxim, meanwhile, finds that heal spell, needs that heal spell. He's down to half a heart. Ooh. And he brings himself back up to one heart. I wonder if he knows the... Uh, let's see if he knows the staircase trick here. He either does not or it didn't work for him. Either way, Cyber back up to two and a half hearts. He did find a bit of food, but did get hit again. Wow, that crystal shovel can dig out that wall pig. If you're nervous at all about that wall pig, just tap it with the shovel. Takes out Mummy. And he's going to be on his dead ringer here in a moment. Uh, Cyber's got the bombs. So as long as his dead ringer works, he can do this. Simple lure strats for Cyber. Although Riders win this game, let me tell you. He gets dunked by the Rider, and there, and we're off rails. We're not quite in Phase 2 yet, but uh, it's going to be quite hard to recover from this in a proper way. So he's going to kill the Sarcophagus. This, or Sarcophagi, I guess? And hit these last two bells. Takes out the Dragon, and... Let's see what happens here. All right, and oh, he gets dunked by Dead Ringer. Oh man, it, he should have been ready for that and just was not. I think the ogre spooked him a bit. He was ready to kill. Uh, he's ready to kill the ogre and just wasn't expecting what had happened. So half an hour in. Whew. Focus shifts back to Weirdo Maxim and his odd build he's got going on. That is a Blood Longsword with the Ring of Courage. So that's a two damage longsword. He's got an Obsidian Shovel. Actually, not a bad build. Um, he could use a little more armor, but he's got his Potion. He's got a Compass, so he knows where he's going. And he's onto his Death uh, death Metal 3. Having a little trouble with it, but who doesn't? It's, it's freaking Death Metal 3. Gets dunked by one of the Beatles, but... Just uses the Fireball. Uh, unfortunately, Death Metal taking no damage from that since he was aimed the wrong way. Maxim hitting him again. I don't know. I don't think Maxim has died a second time here. This is his second run through. So... Hopefully this time he's, he's got a safer build for sure. I mean, his last... I mean, it doesn't get much less safe than phasing no torch in zone 4. So, uh, Maxim's definitely got the, uh, the better build for this run than he did last time. He's got 
Uh, essentially six and a half hearts. He's got a fireball spell, he's got a heal spell. All he's got to do is survive. Now, Cyber has proven that Cyber can move pretty fast, but Cyber has yet to finish a run as well. He, he got dunked by Dead Ringer with what I thought was a pretty decent run last time around. Cyber already down to half hard, though, so uh, half an hour in. And no normally, you would question if there's uh, tilt on the side of both racers. Definitely for Cyber, after getting dunked by Dead Ringer. For Maxim, I would think less so, because he hasn't been dying nearly as much as Cyber has. He's only died once. Uh, and Cyber has been doing a really good job... Or Cyber. Uh, Maxim has been doing a really good job of thinking his way through these. Uh, as you can see, Cyber, you know, he's just going down again. Uh, so, Weirdo Maxim sticking it through so far. Let's see what he does with the transmute. Don't transmute the fireball. Handles the golem. Yeah, he thinks, decides against the transmute spell. Probably a good idea. He's on those four two. Maxim looking to take his uh, first uh, true win of the tournament here. And, I mean, it's not the fastest run ever. His first time around it was 18 minutes before he died. I'm almost 19 minutes before he died. Um, and it was on a very dangerous build. This time he's playing very safe. He's got a much safer build. And that even makes it that much more safer. I mean, he's essentially sitting on eight and a half hearts right now. And his stream just went down for me. Whoops. Let's see if I can't reload it real quick. Okay, okay we're back. Just a quick blip. He's up to nine hearts with the blood long sword. Give him some extra health. Still having some stream issues. That's fine. We'll let it go. Cyber for the first time taking phasing. I don't think he's taken phasing in a run yet. I'm just going to wait for Maxim stream to figure it out. So we'll check out Cyber here. On to his King Konga 1. Stabs the monkey and he gets caught up on the line, but he throws for the flawless. And without luck, that's going to be a titanium whip in the black chest. Really hard to tell what's going on on Maxim's side. He's still got four hearts, still has a potion, still has his uh, ice charm. Actually checking out his conjure shot this time. Don't know if he picked up anything. Looks like he picked up ballerina shoes. But again, like I said, very hard to tell what's going on on the maximum side at the moment. We do know he's on 4-3. Uh, he's got nearly full health plus a potion. And a pretty decent build, if you ask me. I'd like better boots, but what can you do? Cyber not having a good time with the phasing. He's down to half a heart again. But yeah, we're having a hard time uh, picking up maximum stream here, so let's, let's see what happens with this. Cyber over on 2 2 with the phasing. He does have a torch with it, so he doesn't have the same issue that Maxim did by any stretch. He picks up the Ring of Courage and he's thinking about it, so we'll see what he does. He keeps the, the uh, Courage Ring, so he's now got a 2 damage base dagger. But only half a heart to use it with. Maxim Stream appears to be permanently down to restart here. Going live, but nothing's coming out of it. Let's see if I can see some video stats. There we go. He's on Dead Ringer. Apparently doing some kind of safe stat with that. Let me hide this there. So 
Action pop in the ogre. We're in phase two. Oh no! He gets dunked by Dead Ringer, but it only takes a few hearts of damage. That was really weird. Did you guys see that? Dead Ringer just decided after he healed that he was just going to charge thin air. This should. Oh, Maxim having a real hard time lining up Dead Ringer here. Real hard time. Now he should have it. There he goes. All right, so Weirdo Maxim onto his Necro Dancer. 37 and a half minutes in, we may have our first loot of the night. Or morning. It is about 4.40 a.m. here, 7.40 on the East Coast. Using the block to move, doesn't really know he can throw Dorian's dagger to get some distance between him and Cadence. That's something you'll learn over time. Um, he is doing button puzzles. I do not see how many... Um, I did not see how many bombs he has. So that could be why he's doing the puzzles. So we're going to be touching butts, folks. Having a hard time lining himself up, too. He does have two hearts on Cadence with a potion. Of course, Dorian with his standard four health. Got a bat. He doesn't... I don't know if he has a lock. Hard to tell. I don't think he does. Um... He does have a rider following him, which is not the best. Dorian takes him out with that flail. All right, so we got the next part of the stage down. And the bad thing about having two uh, uh, two damage right now is he's taking out those yellow skeletons. But that'll change once he gets the loot. Loot only does one damage, regardless what kind of accessories you have. Get a little spooked by those turnips, but he handles it. Taking out the Black Knight. This is funny how he's uh, dealing with his button puzzle here. Gets a heal for Cadence off. That brings him to three hearts. That's pretty good, actually. Dorian's getting dunked. He's down to two and a half hearts. He's got to be really careful. And you basically, you need to leave those skeletons alone. Once the skeletons have their heads off, you leave them alone for spawn minimization. And we're off. Phase two, Necro Dancer fight. He's got to go pick up the loop. He's got a Minotaur chasing him. He's essentially ignoring the Minotaur for now. Looks like he's going to just leave him alone. Dorian gets froze. He's going to get dunked. Dorian down to two hearts. That is rough. Torian's picked up the blood long source. Let's see if that actually even gets any use here. One hit down on the Necro Dancer. We are one down, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna guess from Cyber's sitting on the seed screen that Maxim has won this race. Um, but we're I'm actually gonna watch this play out before I award any loots. We do have an ogre on the board, so we could be in trouble. There is so much going on on Maxim's screen. Red Dragon spawn. No. Oh man, this is disastrous. Yeah, he lost the loot. And Caden's getting dunked. She's down to one heart. Dorian down to one heart. The dragon's gone. And this is this is so scary. Oh, and the Necro Dancer blows up everything. This should give another red dragon spawn. This should give Maxim the opening he needs, though, to finish this race up. One heart left on the Necro Dancer. Caden's using her potion, getting lasered twice three times now down to one heart and oh my god then frozen can't even get the last hit there it is finally as maxim 41 minutes and 11 seconds in is going to take game one in probably one of the most exciting necro dancer fights i have ever seen <laughs> that was just pure madness ladies and gentlemen i i i can't believe that's what we just saw so one loot in the books for Maxim. And we still got two games to go, guys. Man, oh man. That was one hell of a race. So race number two coming up. No numbers higher than four allowed in this seed, folks. 
And uh, checking out what you guys said, it looks like uh, the expectation was for Cyber 1 to take a 3-0 win, but uh, that's obviously not happening at this point. So Maxim picks up his first pure win of the tournament, puts him to 2.5 points on the tournament. Both racers to put the seed in. I'm um, probably going to refresh Maxim's seed uh, stream since he's been having some problems. Just doesn't have it typed in yet. I am sure that they are probably taking a brief, uh, brief break after that, and it's pretty much well deserved. Um, and we're just about ready with race number two. Uh, and, and this is one thing that I really need to point out here is Maxim uh, Cyber went for speed Maxim went for consistency and consistency beat the, seat, the, the speed there the only reason Maxim lost the first time is because he had an extremely bad build going into zone 4 with the phasing no torch if he didn't have the phasing no torch he might have been alright Waiting on race number two to begin here. As soon as it does, we'll get the timer started. And I, I'd really, out of these two racers, I'd really see, expect to see more of the same. Cyber needs to put together a solid run and needs to really slow it down because Maxim is going way too slow. If Cyber can finish a run in 15 minutes, that should be plenty of space to beat Maximin. So it's just a matter of... Uh, it's just going to be a matter of being patient and, and not rushing yourself. When you know your opponent is taking that much time to finish a race, I mean, I think the IGT was like, what, 23, 24 minutes? I, I didn't see what the IGT was, but it, it had to have been up there. Um... Yeah, if you can take a, if you can take a, even in like the 17, 18 minutes, that would have beaten Maxim's time. Ah, oh, so just waiting for race number two to begin. Uh, and that Necro Dancer fight, you missed, Medi Knight, you missed probably the most exciting Necro Dancer fight I have ever seen. Uh, Maxim took out game number one. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, he, Maxim was totally the tortoise versus the hare here. And the, the, the tortoise, slow and steady, wins the race. And that's exactly what we saw out of Maxim. And his Necrodancer fight, it took him forever to do the button puzzle. And he had so many moments in the Necrodancer fight where either Cadence or Dorian could have died. And he came out on top. It was just... It was really cool to watch. You know, it's, you, know, it, it, you can tell that the racers don't have a whole lot of racing experience, but when you see something like that, you can't help but feel good for the guy, you know? He's a really awesome race number one. Uh, Cyber did die quite a bit in that. So my thought here is that unless Cyber is able to dial it back, calm down, just basically make a build, play deathless. It's, you, you get, at this point, when when you're going 22 minutes, you have to like pull out your deathless strats. That's all you got to do. And looks like we're just about ready. Let's, I think they've alt tapped back in, and we're off with race number two. And Medi Knight, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, I, I tell you what, man. Uh, that first race, you missed. You missed something interesting, for sure. Uh, that was uh, Maxim's first pure win of the tournament. He's got two and a half points now. Um, and Cyber, despite going really fast, uh, couldn't manage to put a run together. He died at Dead Ringer. Ouch. Yeah. So 
Uh, now they're, we're on to our second race. Oh, and Cyber's going to blow himself up. Oh, no, the invulnerability frame saved him. So he can still pick some stuff up here. And we'll pick up uh, a ring of might and a torch. Puts him down to half a heart. But hey, he, he's been running with less than full health pretty much since yeah, this started. For that. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, that's just pretty damn risky. Yep. Maxim actually opens the shop afterwards. Let's see if he takes anything here. He does take the ring. He passes up on the torch. Yeah, Maxim. Uh, so, so despite this going 41 minutes, uh, talking about that first race again, despite it going 41 minutes, uh, Maxim only died once. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, um, and and the only reason I thought he died was because he took a very unsafe build going into zone uh, into zone four. It was phasing no torch, which. Oh. It yeah, it was very scary. He actually made it to 4-3, um, but died on 4-3. Well, so far, it looks like both racers handling Cyber again, as expected. Going a little faster, uh, but playing a little riskier. He does have a 2 damage. The Both racers have a 2 damage base long sword, or base dagger. Um, it goes into the end skeleton. Yep. Dragon looming large for Cyber here. Takes them out with these. And that is a Mimic. With gold. nothing good in it. I don't find gold. Gold that useful. Yeah. I don't find it useful as a on EY when doing a speed uh, score run. Yep. Easy throw bomb yeah. strap for Cyber for Coral Rift. What chance is he going to pick though? No, oh, it's gotta be black. And he gets an obsidian rape here without luck. Nice. That is a great pickup for Cyber. I'm sure. Now he's got to worry. Dead. Oh, and he's got to pick. He's got to pick up that. Uh, yeah, he definitely picks up that uh, holster. Holy, holy. Well, yeah. Well, the holster is important too, but the holy water especially because he can get some health back. He just stand in, nice. stand in the mushrooms. You get. Don't take a chance here. Get that health back ASAP. Guys. Very risky. He's got. He's. He did this last game where he had an opportunity to get back to full health, and didn't. And he died. And it happened more than once. Um. So I really think that Cyber's got to. Like I said, he's got to dial this down. He's got to. He's got to play a lot safer than he has been. And I think if he doesn't, it's gonna come back to bite him. Not some stone swing one there. Yep. Oh yeah, and that and that's the way this has gone. Maxim is really slow. He's he's content playing with slow, um, and he obviously is very comfortable with it. Whereas, Steady wins the race. Uh, that, yeah, it's exactly what I'm saying. It's like tortoise versus the hare all over again. Why is he not picking up? This oh board? no, he gets he didn't see the mimic. He didn't realize that was a mimic and gets eaten to death by a chest. How embarrassing is that? Definitely. Maxim restarting over only his second death of the night here morning but he didn't pick up the spear no even though he had a holster he could have like done the full scratch yeah I, I, that, that could let, allow him to throw uh maxim getting dunked by the blue slime again he's going to be starting out of one one with one uh heart missing cyber meanwhile he conjured a chain mail chain mail uh, not gonna do him a lot of good if he doesn't use that holy water uh, you actually uh, raced Cyber earlier this week, right? Yes, I did. You got a 2-1 on him. Uh, how, how, how did that go? Uh, kind of shaky. Kind of. Like, I don't know really how to describe it. Because, <laughs> like, like, halfway through it, I was just being completely stressed out. Like, hit dying constantly. Oh, no. So, like, okay, go for a break. Came back and, like, one... Much death after that, I think. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the racers definitely took a very quick breather after the first race. Well, the first race, of course, went 41 minutes. Um, Cyber on to 2 3 here. Uh, he's he's picked up a map for himself as well. And Cyber does pop these holy water. Good. He needed to do that a while ago. It took way too long to figure that out. Um, can't get the ham. 
He can. He he. I mean, he can. He just needs to farm up the gold, but didn't realize he didn't have enough for it just yet. Now he should off that golem. Oh, look at this. He doesn't have three. Yes, he does. He's got three damage right now, so he can take out those boxes. He is ignoring the boxes. Come on, Open those boxes. There we go. We got some gold. Okay. There's some gold, and there's a big old black skeleton. That scared the crap out of me, let me tell you. But he's going to be on to his zone 2 boss, and it is death metal. Dude, and Maxim I... getting dunked by a black skeleton. Maybe he only Max. had enough in the tank for one race. <laughs> Cyber very quickly taking out death metal with a 7 damage lunge. Um, Ooh, and heal and spell. picks up a heal spell. Back to full health for Cyber 1. Very good. He's got to be feeling confident after that. Giant dog, folks. Gigantism scroll. Keeps the apple over it. I just pop the scroll and then take the apple with it. <laughs> yeah, he's just taking it. Maxim. Again. Yeah, Maxim kind of going on tilt, maybe? Which is kind of... Uh, a surprise after the last round where he seemed to have a yeah, he seemed to play very a very relaxed style he wasn't rushed but now he's behind it and he's got to find some way to catch up and or maybe just hope for cyber to get dunked by something else like dead ringer like, like it happened the first race so cyber pulling ahead here with a, a very good build um it's semi-minimal you know there's no helm or um God, I can't th think of the item, but uh, well, there, well, there's your helm. So yeah, he's now got, monocle. yeah, he's got the monocle. That's a really, really good item. You can see what's There's in your chest. Those white, know that. Yeah. Yeah, he, he he'll, 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 charm. yeah, he doesn't have a Nazar charm, but I mean, it, yeah, he's going to see the whites right away, but that's a pretty high value item because it lets you item. see so much. Like, knowing that there's a bomb in that box over there, you might go over there and open the box. Whereas, maybe you would have ignored the box before. Um, he's also got a free ring of war if he wants it. He's going to slide over that direction. Probably not intentionally. Sliding the other way. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. I cut you like electric light. I don't know. Anyway. Going to open that box here. Pick up the extra bomb. That's basically a free arena floor, isn't it? And he uses the bomb. Oh, look at this blast helm. Very nice. Oh, nice. That is definite change there. Gives him some added safety. He doesn't have to, um, because he's got the Ring of Might. Um, but like I said, if he does choose, it is free. Because there's a bomb yeah. trap right there. It's basically just adding, like, not back to you, since it gets one damage. Maxim farming even harder here. He picks up a monkey, quite literally. You don't want one of those in your basket. No, you? or on your head. Or into a new you. Looks like a dragon. Takes out the dragon, all right. Cyber on to Deep Blues 3. S sitting around at full health here. It's... And see, this is where he could have done a throw strap. Switch by, by yeah. the night. Yeah, you got yeah, uh, hit pretty hard there. But he takes him out and can get that health back pretty much right away. Oh, he missed the blood heal, but doesn't matter because look over to the left. That's a Oh, it could be a vault. We don't know yet. How many vaults are They're pretty rare. Oh, and well, he's back to full health anyway. Yeah, I, he's going the wrong way. I would check out that place, suppose, then, because a postman can really Oh, save what him. the heck? He gets dunked by that spider. It, just, it took a while to figure out what he wanted to do with it, and in the end, didn't do the right thing. Meanwhile, Maxim down to half a heart on Coral Rift. This does not look very good for him right now. I wish there was a secret, secret shop there as well. Mm-hmm. And he's got he's got something to open it with, and Coral Rift taking out Maxim. He's gonna have to restart again. We're Ten minutes in, and he needs to slow down. We're easy. almost seeing the opposite of last race. 
whereas Cyber's the one going slow and not dying. Maxim's the one pushing himself too hard and getting killed. So it's just kind of a weird role reversal over last last game here. Although Cyber is, to be fair, Cyber is going faster than Maxim was last race still. But like I said, he only needs to do, like, what, 15 minutes I mean, to be the 23, 24 minute race. Like two more great gears appeared. Cyber opting for the lower powered torch in zone 4. Of course, it doesn't matter if you find trapdoors in zone 4 because there are none. But he also takes with that the obsidian shovel. Now, this. Yeah. Now, if he had that Gigantism spell, he could have used that to uh, dig out the Necro Dancer stage without taking any damage. What is he doing here? He does not know what he wants to do. Now he does. and <laughs> It took him some time, but it was masterfully done. He blows up both enemies without having to worry about doing it. He, and it, note, he did not even check the vault or potion. I'm assuming it's a potion. I mean, it's, that's pretty much what you assume whenever you see it. Oh! Um, I'm not quite sure he needs to check the glass shop. So what, what, yeah, what's in a glass shop that he can use right now? Not a whole lot. Well, he goes in anyway. He can take glass armor. Yeah, he can't take glass armor. He got the chainmail. Gets the spider jumping on him, but uses the bomb to blow most of the enemies up again. Mind you, that's the second time he's done that. This bat, the black bat beam. Yeah, the black bats beam sense. bats. Yep. yep. But he's on this 4-3 here in a moment. He's gonna check the shop, I'm sure. Transmit scroll. Oh, there's a nice pickup. Oh, and there's a nice pickup. That's a beautiful shot right there. Yeah, that was really good. Doesn't even have to take the transmute. I mean, he could take the transmute, and he's going to. And and he could take it into the glass shop and transmute the glass shop, but does not do that. Glass shop's usually pretty cheap. Could have uh, done stuff. Maxim again going down the black skeleton, and just, he's just having a hard time getting out of zone one at this point. So. Looks like the tilt is real over on the side with the loot, and Cyber looking to tie this up. Oops, getting dunked by a couple harpies, but yeah, whatever, he's got the armor to deal with it. Can't dig through anything at the moment, needs to get a kill, there he goes. Now he can dig through that wall. Just gotta watch out for that armadillo, that armadillo looming large. Yeah, those armadillos are deadly. Yeah. Takes him out! Go. In comes the nightmare. One shots him. What nightmare? He's had to take care of this. Oh, yes. yep. Kisses the pixie. He's at full health. Last time didn't quite all work for him. Just hope he remembers that on the necro dance fight, he suddenly goes. If he actually holds up the. Yeah. Page. They have done right. that before. Cyber back to Dead Ringer for the second time. And uses the Quake spell, makes it a quick one. Well done. On to the Necro Dancer nice. fight. Nice. Hey, okay, and how's it going? I uh, got 3 0 by Jack of Games where I could have taken two off of him. I was very upset with hey, that. Yes. And then my. Get the mm, so he transmutes one damage into one damage. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, the second one, I 2 one uh, I believe it was Fionn Fionn. Uh, that was a fun match. Here we go. Oh. Around the second phase, Necro Dancer fight. Spawn minimization in effect. Why did he... Uh, probably because Dorian chased him away. It looks like he was doing the lure, but uh, Dorian was just too close for it to work. He's trying. Uh, it's, you know, we'll, see, we'll see some racers that just don't try to lure. Uh, but... There. Yeah, hopefully not. Oh, Cadence gets dodging out of the way, takes out the ogre. Probably a smart move there. Bombs the last turn, so we're gonna see a few more spawns. There they are, but they're pretty much a non-factor at this much. point. Oh, he's bombing more at the stage. Yeah, there we go. Cyber taking game number two on a deathless run. 1509 is the uh, RTA. And that's going to tie it up at one as Cyber gets his second point of the tournament. Just under 50 minutes. Yep. So, 
Uh, we're about an hour into uh, this matchup. Of course, the first one went 41 and a half. Uh, this one much quicker, thankfully. Uh, it was good to see Cyber finish out a run so strongly. That was very nice. All right. So, with that, let's see what we can do in game number three. Yeah, we even had a crystal shovel in uh, game number one. Ooh, sitting in the urn. you don't see often. Yeah, unless you're playing Dev all the time. But yeah, I was sitting in the urn, and the Cyber took a while to figure out what to do with it. Um, and, he, and it was free, too, because it was right below a wall pig. You just put that thing in front of a wall pig and let the wall pig deal with it. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he, he, t he cleared the rest of the level and then went back and tried to find a way to deal with it. And then... He must have had, like, this light bulb moment. Oh, there's a wall pig right here. And put it in front of it and uh, took it out. Hmm. So, yeah, match one was a little, uh, a little, little uh, long. But, I mean, when you consider Maxim only died once. And it went 41 and a half minutes. You can tell how safe Maxim was playing. And the funny thing about that crystal shovel is that it was on the same level as a um, transmute shop. And I'm thinking he had no bombs. I would transmute that into a blood shovel, but he never did. Right? Maybe you take a blood shovel in a speed run. That's just me. You take a blood shovel for a Necro Dancer. You, you just dig him out. You get a free first hit. Because he doesn't teleport when you dig out his uh, platform that's under him. Maybe it's just be me just being a bit too cautious, but I like have as much help as possible. Oh well, sometimes on the Necrodancer fight, the speed is worth it. Cyber is going to hit a uh, shrine here, I assuming it's a Shrine of Darkness, and indeed it is. So he's going to get free mapping on 1-1. Well, it cost him a bomb, but he's got a bomb right back, so he's going to go rob the shopkeeper blind. Of what you bought. Uh, Maxim not even checking it at all. Golden Rapier going to get an apple and a torch out of the deal. Not a bad pickup. It's decent. It's worth going for it since it's free. So. I don't know whether I should repeat this, but I'm going to anyway. The cane says, Medi, please, get good. <laughs> cane, please. <laughs> I'll come over there into the chat to fight you. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a fight, folks. <laughs> Maxim picking up the torch and the apple does not have enough for the uh, golden rapier. Uh, Cyber just now getting out of 1 1. And he's on his 1 2 with a shop right there. He's gonna rob this guy blind. Let's see what he picks up this time. Oh, it's a ring of charisma. I don't know if I take that. Glass torch. He's yeah. He takes the ring of charisma. Charisma. Yeah, but it's more fun to say charisma. It's like grand charisma, you know. Uh, <laughs> so Cyber very quickly moving through one two here. He's got that gold rapier. Can set up some gold kills here if he wants. Um, Maxim farming as he always has. That's one big black skeleton over on that left side. Gotta hit that thing six times. But he does. Gets a gigantism scroll for his trouble. Oh, Cyber getting hit by the white, but finds a glass shop. Let's see what he does with this. He's gonna pick up the armor. I would take the shovel. I take, as well, I take the maybe. shovel as well, yes. So he takes a shovel. That's 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 okay. That's a good pickup. So he heads on to his zone one boss, which will be King Kanka, after he takes out this angry red dragon. And everything that goes with it. He gets his glass armor shattered by the red dragon. Doesn't set up the gold kill on the dragon. Oh. Sadness. The cane expressing. Please. Yeah, he's, ex he's expressing much disappointment. Cyber digging out his. Uh, wow, that was weird. Uh, why didn't he just uh, set up the rapier? I mean, he's only got two health. Should just 
right through lunge for the kill, but whatever. This is, uh, only saves a few beats. He's on to his zone two with a glass build. He is so screwed if he gets it. Never know. Weirdo switching off to the glass torch. Of course, that makes... It's kind of a form of mapping, but... Yep. Uh, are we going to see luck here? I think we're going to see luck here. Yep. Cyber yep. picking up luck. Let's see if I do. Does it split? I speak today. <laughs> picking up the fireball spell as well as the um, earthquake scroll. Of course, we saw him use that to great effect last time on Dead Ringer. Uh, that's a potion. I, but most I likely. I probably taking the key. Blood so shovel does. here. He's gonna pass on that since it's got the glass shovel, but picks up the chainmail. Not a bad pickup there. Uh, help him with survivability if things go south with his uh, glass build. Ooh, oh wow, ring of on. courage. Oh, and he's got nothing he can do about it. Oh, that's so sad. And then, I mean, there's some good stuff in that shop too. There's the uh, uh, crown of thorns. Maxim Ooh, jumping into, yep, jumping into the whites. Well, he doesn't have to worry about whites appearing all the time now. Mm. Cyber at full health, going on to his 2 3. Yeah, why would, would you take the Yeah, why would you take the key? Well, it's a 8 damage one times that by 2, 16, so that's probably going the Dead Ringer. But the thing is, he doesn't have the glass jaw, so he could recover from getting hit the point. Squigasuits! Alright, Squigasuit for Cyber. I am the same person. Oh, and yeah. Maxim going down to the Red Dragon. So Maxim yep. having trouble in Zone 1 again. This is the opening Cyber needs to possibly come back and win this 2-1. That's why I do not like board swords. Mm -hmm. Just for that main reason. Because you'll get like, you try to move out of the way, nope, hit a bat, and bang, get dunked. Coral Riff is your zone two boss. Nothing to throw with here, so he's gonna have to do this the hard way. He could bomb him out, but maybe see one lunge is gonna kill him. In fact, one hit's gonna kill him with as much health as he has here. But he does it normally. He does pretty fast for the normal strat there, for the intended strat. Cyber's going to pick up. That's not a bad pickup. Ring of Shielding, that'll give him an extra hit that he can take and keep his glass. Yeah. In the black chest, though. Mm -hmm. I probably would have taken black chest in that scenario as well. Ooh, Transmutes. Cool. What's he going to do here? I don't think I take the flail. He takes the flail. I would keep the... To each their own. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the thing is, is that this is zone 3-1. Maybe he's thinking he might get something better before. Ooh, look at that pickup from Maxim. Maxim picking up a glass longsword over on 1-2 in a hidden chest. Maybe that can start the comeback for him. Oh, boy. Meanwhile, Blue Dragon being mean. The cane knows all about Blue Dragons being mean. But Cyber bullies him into a corner and takes him out. Nice hey, fireball there. Even. Three two for Cyber One. Um, yeah, you check that shop. You have the shovel to do it. Does not take the holster. And why did he take the Ring of War? He takes the Ring of War. I guess he's okay with this damage. weapon now. Yeah, that is a pawnbroker. That is AKA the Troll Shop. Worst show ever. Yes. Maxim again seeing that lovely shop that you can't do anything about. Oh, he doesn't take the crown, though. Why do you not take the crown there? I think he could probably kill him, actually. Like, kill the shopkeeper with that glass longsword. It would be pretty hard. You'd have to find a source for a, another point of damage. But I, I'm, I'm wondering why I didn't take the glass crown. Uh, the glass crown. The uh, crown of thorns. Mm -hmm. Down goes the shovel. And Cyber's Necrodancer now looking a little more sketchy. 
Nice fireball usage there, taking out a ton of enemies. And he's on to Zone 3 boss. It's Deep Blues. Not a bad boss for Zone 3 at all. And w especially with that flail, he's just going to rip through this board. Oh, that's a perfect opportunity for Fireball hit four pawns, and he didn't see it. Looking like a flawless here. Oh, no, he gets hit by the king at the very end. <laughs> and he can't get into the food shop. We know that's a food shop. You have one bomb. You have one bomb. Do you bomb it? I will probably take the chance. Well, that's who. Yeah, like, he's, he's a bomb and a fireball. And fireball. So, yeah, fireball. He's, he can fireball the shot keeper to death. Does he only has like? I think I think you do it with with one bomb. I mean, oh, and there's the ham too. I mean, that that's the best possible thing that you could use in the shop too. Oh man, he could he could have so many hearts right now. But he's holding tight. He's he's hoping he finds just enough bombs to deal with Necrodancer. Confused runs into the spider, but otherwise handles it. Many balls here. Oh, he gets ogre. Down goes the. I think he had a potion. The potion's gone. Yeah, he had a potion. The keyword had. Oh boy, picking up the. Yep, the monocle there. I don't know why. He touch that before he knew what was in it. He just he picked up a monocle, take, so... For Cyber, he's, 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 he's got a good build, except for that weapon. That is, oh, okay, you take this cat here. you got to take that cat out of the flail, because that means that the knights are much less scary. But he chooses... It looks like he's choosing not to. He's just moving along here. Ring of Becoming, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the transmute spell. Will he remember? Please do not mess up. Ring of Wonder Hype, please. Please. Don't get yourself killed. Oh, yeah, he's got to worry about the swarm right now. Okay, now he can go get it. Except he doesn't remember he's got the transmute spell. Oh, oh no. He goes on to his 4 3 and skips the Ring of Wonder. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, that, that deserves a wrong play fail. <laughs> oh. I feel really bad about that. That that, that was... <laughs> Bible bump. That was pretty much win, you know? Um, I mean, at that point in the game. He's got to get those bombs, too. He's got to farm for those bombs. If he gets those bombs, his Necrodancer fight at least will be a lot easier. Uh there it is. He's got four bombs. He's got... And, and there's a transmute. Ah, uh, that's perfect. Picking up the broadsword over the flail. There's definitely some better weapons he could have, but the broadsword is definitely far better. What? What did he just do? He hits the shrine of phasing, and he's in big trouble now. Picks up... Okay, he's got his flail back. And there's a titanium long sword over there, but... Oh, no. oh my god, Cyber just with the huge misplay. Oh man. Ooh. Thanks for the raid, Squigga. Definitely appreciate it. But oh my god, we just saw some awful, awful play and down goes Cyber to an oh to a bomber oh. and uh, the, just oh. those last those last two minutes from Cyber are just I don't even know what to say about that. He had a free w Ring of Wonder. He had a great build going into 4-3. And he just literally gives it all away and pays the price for it. I, uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's just that's heartbreaking. That heartbreaking. How do you come back from that? Um, now... I don't Focusing over on Maxim, remember he picked up the gl uh, glass uh, longsword a while back. He has yet to be hit, so he still has that longsword. Taking it very calmly. Yeah, well, that's that's how he did the first race. So, and Cyber going down again. By the way, he has having to reset. Um, 
hopefully this does not lead to tilt, but I mean, it's I, it would be hard not to tilt after you do something like that. I mean, I would be screaming so loud. My wife would be yelling at me, telling me to calm down. It would be a, it wouldn't be a good situation, folks. <laughs> I would, I would just like push the keyboard in and just walk away with nothing to say. Stake pointing out that Cyber doesn't know how to flail Zone Four. Well, he tried to come off the flail and was forced to get back on it when he it had to have been an accident he hit the uh, phasing shrine and lost all his items and this is just monumental misplay I, it's, you just can't say enough about you gotta wonder what's going through his mind at this point okay, and it's, is it possible to come back from that? yes will he? It's first of all it's going to depend on how fast Maxim goes. Maxim is eight and a half minutes into zone three, um, which actually is pretty fast for him. Will he take the uh, mapping? He will. Picks up the mapping there. But Cyber just basically back to square one here. After ha I mean, it was a great build. He had the potion, uh, gave that gave the potion away when he got hit, and I think it was on four one. Yeah, it was some one. Mm -hmm. uh, four one. See, sorry. Oh man. He also messed out on the ring of uh, wonder. Even though he had the transmute. Yeah, that, and that right there, I mean, that's just for getting you have a transmute. Leaves the glass longsword behind for the base longsword. What? <laughs> that. that well, courage. Uh, no, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. Okay, he picks it back up. Uh, okay, he picks it back up. There we go. Cyber's got Cyber's got courage, yes, but he doesn't have the longsword either. He has not found that longsword on one two yet. And he's on one three, so he ain't getting that anytime soon. Yeah, damage is definitely safety, but uh, yes. I I Maxim fireball the blue dragon. Yeah. So I mean, Maxim's been playing this uh, this replay here uh, much better than the couple, first couple times around, so uh, he's going to three two. With that glass longsword intact, I'm I'm quite impressed he's taken it this far. So let's see if he can continue to do that. Cyber, redoing that red dragon on one three. Only There's a half heart a down. Drum, drop in hand. That's an interesting idea. Oh, that, that makes I'm not sure I would have done that. No, you could, but I mean, what do you really need eight damage for at this point? You, you, your zone three boss is deep blue, deep blues. Cyber messed up his flawless. Yeah. Moment. Cyber just... Uh, I'm not going to say he's on full tilt just yet. Because he's uh, at full health. He's got uh, the Crown of Thorns, which is a good pickup. Especially if you know you're struggling. Um, Plus he's got courage. So. He's got the courage. That's really good. He just, needs a, he just needs a weapon with range at this point. Yeah, even Stake saying keep the ham. That's, I, 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 I would not have taken the drum at that point. Where's the home? Oh, Cyber getting dunked by the Black Wind Mage. Lead boots, that's a good pickup. I would take the uh, I would take the Ring War. You you have a Squega suit. You really don't need you don't need armor. He's he's got two and a half armor right now because he's also got the uh, armor charm. So you don't need to have a ring of armor. You pick, you pick up that Ring of War, give yourself some extra damage. Eight damage plus not back. It'd be enough to uh, kill who's going in one hit. Yeah. Down goes the glass longsword, and now it's a struggle. Oh. Now you now you go back and you take that ring of war. And I think that's it. Uh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Just thinking. He's it. thinking about it. He's killing the black skeleton, and he's not taking it. He sees that's one damage. Oof. I would definitely have taken the ring. Yeah, so he is on a one damage glass shard, folks. It and getting good. dunked left and right. This uh this three three not going very well for Maxim at all. It's not showing any appreciation. That'd be worked. Throwing the old Elad shard in chat here. How many emotes have you got there? I got a few. <laughs> I've, I've, I've added a bunch of uh, uh, Frank faces 
recently. I've actually made a few of my own, too. Uh, a couple for my Descent games, too, but I, I took a lot of Oblivions and a lot of ELADs. Uh, so basically, you just stole a bunch of them. Yeah, pretty much. What everyone else <laughs> is doing. I got yelled at by Jack for not having them. Maxim getting dunked on uh, Deep Blue's 3. He's got Deep a queen Blues. chase him down. What is this? Oh, my God. Don't. And Maxim oh. is knocked out, KO'd on Deep Blue's oh. 3. Deep Blue's just destroyed him. Oh. So Cyber now fun? with an opportunity to Cut. come back after that disastrous zone 4. He's got a chance to redeem himself here. Uh, he's got the kayak build here, which... Honestly, you don't need any more. Just... Oh, he's jumping into that Skyrider. He's just jumping into everything at this point. He's lost a heart and half. He uses the blood magic on the fireball to get out of it, regaining that health literally immediately with the uh, crown of thorns there. So... I would have taken the gold man. the long sword. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, another thing I forgot about Cyber's uh, misplay, he had the glass shovel going into 4-1 last time, right? And he didn't open his food shop at all. He knew it was a food he shop did. because he opened this, and this was the pawnbroker. I think he lost the shovel, though, didn't he? He did, but it was on 4-2. The, the uh, food shop was on 4-1, and he never opened it. And we were just sitting there confused as to why would you not open it? <laughs> or maybe he did lose it because I remember us discussing something about bombs. But anyway, Cyber onto his three three, rowing a boat so all over the place. Get... Oh, he did get dunked. Mm. He's down to one heart here. He seems to be losing health faster than he's gaining it back, and finally takes oh. out the mini boss. Oh, that's a slip and slide right into a clapper. Oh, half a heart. For Cyber, this is tense, and we're 20 minutes in. He's gotta, he's gotta be real careful. Go well, to the bench, so yeah. he gets one of his uh, he gets one heart back here, so he's got a full heart. Man, let's see what happens. Uh, this is pretty tense. He's, he's gonna go to the shop. He's gonna check his shop. We do know a few good things in there. He's going to pick up the boots. I'd pick up the Ring of War here. And he does not. Courage all the way. Uh, Kayak could be a pretty dangerous build if you're not expecting to go two squares in one one move. Um, if he's if he's comfortable with it, then cool. But we're on Deep Blue's 3 here, and he's going to have to be ready to just kayak this up. And he's handling it. That was a really good start. It's the king once. It should go down. Fireball the pawn. Probably fireball the pawns. He could have just fireballed the king. But there he is. That's a flawless victory for Cyber. Very good kayak strat there. I'll take the black chest. And get Stake also weapon. notes that Ring of War is awkward with uh, the cat as well because of the knockback. But at least you're not it getting flung two squares. That's that's the big thing with it. I mean, it's good for going fast. It's not all that great if you want to try to stay safe, but uh, Cyber cyber is handling it so far. Now we're on 4 one Again, he's ignoring that shop, but he doesn't have anything to open it with this time, so. But he's got boots this time. He does so. have boots, so there's no problem with the golems as long as he doesn't get hit. He uses the fireball to take out the sarcophagus and and hits the boss, too. I think that's an ogre there that he hit. Leprechaun this point yeah, there. Leprechaun, indeed. Is he gonna do he's going to not be confused. And he is going to take the left turn. didn't help himself in confusion. All right. <laughs> yeah. Picking up the slow, strong dig of the pickaxe. Do you go for the jewel dagger here? The six damage jewel dagger. He goes oh, for the. Nice oh, damage. that is that's even better. Rocket build here now. Yeah. Go with the rapier. Yeah. Rapier cards. Best. He might be going up back to the food shop. Yeah, he. I don't think he realized the food shop's there because he had a chance to open it in the last race. Oh, there is the obsidian longsword. Pick that up and don't think. Whoa, what is he doing? 
Okay. The reason why I would take the Obsidian Longsword over the Rocket build is you don't need to be moving two tiles. That's, that's the main thing. You don't need the speed, especially in a zone as dangerous as Zone 4. He's hand like I said, he's handling it. He, may he could be comfortable with the Rocket build. I'm, I'm not. I know that much. Courage, make sure he doesn't get dunked by the... Um, that's gonna ring of coming. Yeah, that, that's the ring of coming. That could have been a ring of wonder last race. Just saying. That could have been a ring of wonder. Telemonkey into the boss room. Oh, that could have been really bad. Thankfully, you got courage. Yeah, that definitely helped there. He's gonna be on to his 4 3. Uh, he's going to the shop. He's going to the shop. Check out the shop. There is heavy plate in there. He doesn't have enough for it. He can't do anything with the, the shopkeeper, so. Sorry. Oh, and he gets blown up. Ooh. Why? Why? He just gets blown up there. Don't take that ring. Check out what Maxim's doing here on uh, this side. I think he's trying to lure. Uh, go for the potion. Lure the arm um, armadillo into the potion. And he's not doing a very good job of it. <laughs> I mean, he could have had it a couple of times already. He's just got to knock it over. There he goes, knocks it in, picks up the potion. He's going to be on to his 2-2 uh, boss here. But Cyber is very close to finishing this out. He's got to be careful with that bomber. Ooh, good job, good job. Oh no, where's the shard? Where's the shard? It's just around the stairs there. Oh my god, he's so screwed. Yeah. Rip potion. Cyber is going up against the fire. There, and he finally picks it up, but the damage is done. That potion that he just picked up. Easy come, easy go. Ooh, what you take here? And what did he take out of, what did he take out of that? It looks like he took a Mercedes Post shovel. Post -charm. What Post -charm Cyber took a arena. frost charm? Oh, and right. down he goes, Banshee taking out Maxim. And that could be it for Maxim here is Cyber mm -hmm. looking I mean he just hit the stairs here. You're going to Dead Ringer. He's got three bombs. He's not going to be able to do spawn minimization, but he can do a quick Dead Ringer fight. And he does. Let's hope he doesn't get dunked. No dunkage there. And on to Neki. He may have this bug. So as long as nothing bad happens to Dorian, we should be fine. But he's got to go up the middle. Plays that nicely with Courage. And here we go, phase two. We have a Minotaur sighting. Not quite, not quite on point with the lure strats. It looks like he's aware of them, but hasn't really gotten it to work for him. So it's just probably just needs more practice with it, I imagine. Down goes Necrodancer, and Cyber's going to take a 2-1 win over the Weirdo Maxim. Congratulations to Cyber1 for hanging in there. That was quite a long race. It went over an hour and a half uh, between the two games. Um, uh, Maxim played a very strong race number one, despite it going 41 minutes. I mean, it sounds bad. 41 minutes, you think, my God, how much dying was there? Uh, Maxim only died once. But after that, it was all Cyber as he uh, Cyber went through without dying that second race. And then this third race, he had a very unfortunate zone for um, the, his first time through. But Cyber sucked it up, came back, and goes, takes the 2-1. So congratulations to Cyber. And I think that is going to be it for now. We do have another race coming up in an hour and a half. That race is between, yeah, it's between uh, Mantis... Uh, and Rack the Kitty. Um, and then at 5 p.m. Wow. Eastern, the highlight of the day, of course, is going to be G Fitty taking on Oblivion. That's 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, I'm not sure I who's going to be casting those. Oh, I got mine on Oblivion. Oh, I, this I, is going to be fun. I, th I think it'll be a 2 1. But Oblivion yeah. can. Uh, th here's what's at stake for that one. If Oblivion 3 owes him. Oblivion will be the only racer with 12 points. Ooh, There's a lot on the line for for uh, uh, for Oblivion, so he could take the uh, number one spot um, far and away. 
which would give him a pretty hellish week three. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, I think G Fitty is capable enough of taking a race off him. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, Cyber One for taking two wins. That puts him up to three points on the tournament after taking uh, uh, one point from Many Night earlier. And uh, yeah, Weirdo Maxim getting his first uh, legit win, going to two and a half points on the tournament. And that's going to do it, guys. Uh, appreciate everyone watching, and we will see you next time. Yep, see you next time, guys.